bonus with face, pat, and tiz. Well, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Fathers. Show with three friends, separated by distance, connected by brotherhood, having weekly conversations that you can join in on. And as always, I'm your boy, Tiz, uh, one third of the partners. And I am along with the other third of the partners. You know, as the world turns, we spread like germs. It's Omicron One here. <laughs> I like that shit, Omicron One. That was a bar. I fuck with that shit. That was hard. I've been practicing. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna know that goddamn fancy, man. It's just space in the place. What's happening? <laughs> race and base and space and face. And taste. And I'm another shit to with some mace. And I'm tears with the whiz. Flick it, flick it. Oh. With the weed? I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't have that damn for that one. <laughs> I just the ride. He is in the beat. I didn't have anything. Kind of like me this week. Um, uh, this is going to be an interesting show. We'll get into why in a minute, guys. Um, but uh, how y'all doing this week? I can't complain. I'm doing pretty well. Had a good night so far. Just got back from picking up my oldest. So I had a good little drive beat me, her and the wife laughed the whole way back home. Just a good, good little vibe, man. Um, today's anniversary of my father passion. So instead of me being sad like I normally do, I was basically happy most of the day. Just got through some bullshit, got got through when the bullshit was going on. So uh, I pressed through, didn't do the normal thing, just getting angry and just soaking. And I just tried to stay on that lighter, lighter and lighter note. And the summer kid, some of my oldest kid just put the extra little joy in my heart. And then my wife did what she needed to do for me. So I think I, I, I did what I needed to do. I did what I accomplished, what I wanted to do for this season. Um, the season ain't over yet, so I can only continue to build more on top of the goodness and the joy I have. So I say I'm doing pretty good this week, man. I say I'm doing pretty good overall. Right How on. about you, man? Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Um, so wild month uh, last week was my uncle's birthday. This week is Christmas. And it's a lot going on this Christmas. Uh, to be full honest, man, financially ain't where I want to be this Christmas just because I wasn't working for so long. Uh, FMLA was great as far as, you know, putting me in a good place as far as not losing my job, et cetera. But it sucks ass as far as, you know what I mean, the financial side. So I'm paying a lot of bills off and stuff that had kind of accumulated over that time. So it ain't what I wanted to be, but it's about to get there. You know what I mean? I got a bonus coming up that's going to let me, you know what I'm saying, do what I really want to do. But right now I'm just uh, – Oh, Finagling no. and stagling, making Christmas happen. So Christmas about to happen, but uh, it's going to be a stressful week right after that for me. So for me, I'm just trying to get through Christmas, criminal, and uh, push to this new year and hit the reset button. Because 2021, I'm about over. Now, yeah. I'm going to say what you said. I'm going to build on that after we do the check-in because it brings me back to a thought and the conversation I was having earlier in this week. So Put a pin in that. We gonna I'm gonna build. We gonna build on that part that you brought that up. I'm glad you. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we can build I for you. Anyway, we can this. No. No. Uh, speed up time so Christmas come on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. other than that, man, like everything good. Once I get through Christmas, man, I'm back on top. So it's just getting through Christmas for me. And uh yeah, man. Uh I don't know. Talking tonight may, you know, help. I don't know, man. I'm not oh, shit. Fuck it. Fuck 2021 <laughs> is what I is sums it all up. 
<laughs> this is like just like Indeed. yesterday we was here talking about 2020, man. So I mean, I, I yeah, they 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 twins, man. man. Fuck them both. Mm-hmm. They ain't saying me. They ain't identical, but they fraternal like a mom. And then next year is twenty twenty two. That's twenty twenty. The sequel. You try to confuse mm-hmm. you on how they actually you you actually spell it out, but you know, mm-hmm. but it's actually twenty twenty. The sequel. I don't care what it is. I don't want nothing. Twenty twenty two. Mm hmm. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty two. I'm I, we can't when is 2030 hit? I heard that's gonna be nice. Yeah, I like 30. 30 is 30 is hey, 30 is my birthday, so 30 is good. Yeah, that'll be even older. Yeah, yeah I might be able to be older now. Omicron. Oh well, yeah. Um, so you know, last week I you know, I said I had that you know great day on Sunday and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you sometimes my life is good in fuckery sometimes it comes with the greatest of goods and then sooner or later after a while maybe after the end of we recording on the last tuesday the fuckery comes in all right so thought it was double um double vax pat and <laughs> <laughs> that morning I started, then, double vax bad then that pat, morning pat. I started the coughing and that's how it starts he be wheezing the coughing and and how, how it started last. now mind you he's like double vax but yeah he's also double vid double vid man double vax pat even, is now double vid I don't want no vids. Vids have not done anything no, good. I anybody. don't want your COVID, no. No. I don't want Vids. your Omicron, and no. I don't want you none of your Delta, you. no. Don't want I none don't of your COVID. You. I don't want your vid. No. So I'm sick. A vid Damn. is a virus, can't no. get no love from me. No. And I know Faith said he can't complain and everything, but I can't because I'm grumpy as hell right now, dog. Like this, this shit is bullshit. Like I hate being sick. It's, it's so in the way. Like, hey man, say that shit so in the way. Yeah. Like I feel like I I be one. It, it's like it's the times that I have to myself so I can actually focus on like, like my projects and all that other stuff, and my mind is just like, ugh. Cause half the time, um, I'm sick. Look at me, sick of so the sick. So I'm taking meds, and then then I got to uh, sober up from the meds because they got me zombified while they're fi- fixing whatever I'm going through, pretty much. And then at the same time, mm-hmm. everybody asking me for shit all the time. Like, no, I can't do nothing for you, but get you sick. <laughs> I can't do shit. That's it. Do it for free. Huh. I'm glad we do this by Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Between right. you and Face, man, I'm I'm the next one to go, man. I got to bubble myself. I'm scared to go out now. I feel like the next trip to the grocery store, I'm going to come back. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up, guys? I was just, I was just Welcome to there. the partners. Yes, sir. It starts. It starts off with you coughing, and then you you feel like you have extra phlegm and stuff all the time. That's why I'm Man, drinking all the hot that's tea. Me, that's me half the time, anyway. So no, I wouldn't know that, and that's what I thought. But I I'd, thought I'd have been thing. tested thirty million times. So I tell you what, if I do get it, if I do catch it, I'm gonna know pretty early. And I feel like I, I get tested the other day a week. That's every Friday at six thirty p.m. Shit. And 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 this is not taking like this Omicron thing is quick, yo. I'm a crazy. Like I'm trying to say like, like, the zombie apocalypse like quick. Like one person gets sick, next person gets sick, next person around you get sick. Like it's just your mama and them yeah. sick. Yeah. 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 One one after another is it's crazy. Like it's it's almost scary. Like for, for real. Like 
it, the way it just one after mm -hmm. another. Oh, you got that walking dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this um, like this, no this is it, man. It came a bit like the thing is though. After the first three days, I started feeling better, or whatever. So it wasn't like mm -hmm. last time where I was like out for two weeks and felt like, and, and still wasn't right after those two weeks. I'm still like out for a whole like month for real pretty much but yeah that's yeah <laughs> but yeah i'm here i'm a crown one and ain't got me that down but if you would have saw me last last week sure yeah. got me down. i'm a crown one well I don't even know what to say. Face, what is it that you were talking about that you wanted to get back to? What did I say that sparked your interest so much? Christmas oh. time. Christmas time and bills. Can you hear me clearly? Uh-huh. I hear you were talking about bills. I hear, oh, okay. I hear so, that word. Very so Christmas time, Christmas time and bills. Okay. I, I roll this conversation back to kids. And most times, adults always go in debt at Christmas time. I'm trying to catch up on bills and suffice for getting their kids all this extravagant shit that they really don't need or just going overboard just because their kids want it. Bring me back to a conversation that is it, it, like, I'm going to say it's almost a generational question because I know most parents in my age group and older, they feel like your behavior dictates what you get for Christmas. You feel me? Like your, your behavior going to dictate what what the outcome is, they still believe, mm -hmm. we still believe in that good behavior gets gift, bad behavior, bad behavior gets that cold, we keep the tradition going. Where new parents, the behavior, I'm saying behavior is gonna dictate, they still gonna do whatever. So I'm a type of parent, like, I'll cancel Christmas on your ass if you've been bad all year. Like, well, I, I'm, there is no Christmas. Do you need to earn? I, I feel like you get to earn some stuff. I'm not going in debt uh, uh, for the next two months trying to pay off some big ass toys because that's what you wanted, but your your behavior and your grades didn't dictate that. So I feel like like doing that type of shit is rewarding bad behavior. You feel me? Like I'm um, still give you all this luxurious shit just because it's Christmas time. No, like at some point you still need to earn what you get. And I understand the holiday, and the holiday is about giving. I can still give you something real small. <laughs> so, but what's the point? What's the purpose of what's going in the debt? For these badass kids now if you got a kid and your kids doing this damn thing in school you got their behavior on point sure do what you need to do but i still don't see the need of no one no parent going into debt you feel me for mm -hmm. a holiday that, that, that that's the crazy part for me like we struggle enough on a daily basis just we're trying to keep bills and keep the lights on our, keep the lights on the roof over here gas expensive shit food the food tax and food prices are going up daily then you turn around, then you got your normal debt. But Christmas come, you want to add on just debt just because. I mean, personally, I, I just I just don't see that. It like as I get older and my kids get older, and I just get a better a better rationale for just everyday adults and everyday life. I'm just saying that like certain shit just need to be cut out to a certain point, like to the point where I was thinking to myself, all right, next Christmas let's do a, a, a one gift. Everybody get one gift. You feel me? Like why not? It makes you cherish what you get more. It makes you really hone in on this, what the season is about. It ain't just about the monetary value and shit like that, where it's going to now. So just a little face I, insight. I, I feel you on the, uh, keeping it about the reason for the season. Um, we definitely stress that heavy over here. Um, I think as far as the gifts themselves and all of that, I think it depends on how you look at gift giving. I mean, for us, we kind of modify the gift based upon what he earned, you know what I mean? So like, exactly. for example, um, if he didn't been destructive toward technology that year, then we are not gonna get him anything technology wise. So it ain't gonna be no video games or no tablet accessories or no cool apps or none of that shit. It's gonna be books and, you know, practical toys and building stuff, you know what I mean? So I think uh, it's like, he get a choice of like, this is the stuff that you want. All right, you let us know what you want, earn it. 
and then he get all that. If he earn it, if he don't, then he don't. But a lot of times we'll still give them stuff that's like for learning. Like you are gonna get books every holiday. Like that's just gonna be something you do because we want you to spend most of your time reading anyway. So there you go. There we gotta get your clothes because damn it, you grow out grow everything. But the good part about books and clothes is them things that he don't care about. Like he want toys and technology. So like for him, he see the immediate actions because. It's, it's it's been times when he done had a birthday and he didn't get pretty much shit but books and clothes and he was salty as hell but he learned from it and he's not had a birthday or a holiday since then like that because he was like oh we always just remind him oh, remember that birthday and he just be like oh exactly. yeah oh exactly. yeah okay I got you so I definitely it's, see the value of like same. making people earn shit but as far as the debt part like once we got out of debt, we ain't been back in debt since. So I ain't really stressing that. I do miss my spending money right now though, cause uh, yeah, daddy, daddy pockets is hurt, but it ain't hurt to that point. Cause I, I wouldn't go into debt for no gifts or nothing like that anyway. Like only thing I'll go into debt on at, at this stage in the game of my life would be like, house debt because I'm buying like I'm getting like a mortgage on a new property or something to like do something with or to move into or something or like I, I done bought like a new something that's going to generate a new fund so I'm like financing something on that end but but any other debt I, I'm yeah I'm leaving that alone I got student loan debt and that's it jeez lord bad debt <laughs> Yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that, that is a motherfucker, boy. Well, I'm happy to say I don't have none of that shit. Hey, man, for you, boy. You don't want uh, it. Oh, no, I happily had him garnish my shit out of my check before I left Walmart. So, uh, take all this shit y'all need. I ain't even noticed the shit the way they did it. So I was happy. By the time I left Walmart, this shit was paid off. I was like, Gucci, I ain't got to worry about y'all calling me every motherfucking week. Yeah, they will do that. Like yeah. some change between the week before. But like you said, they 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 just, you know, doing their job. But I wish they would do that shit a different way. But another shit I want to talk about real quick, just want to cover go over with y'all, man. Like I was listening yeah. to the um that math, the math pop up, the math pop um podcast. I think it's expert call it. I think it's an um expert opinion or something like that. Yep, my um, expert opinion. So um I got I only know exactly who all the guests was on there and I ain't gonna try to remember their names. But basically the um topic, the quick topic they were talking about, the quick the question that was posed to everybody is what's more dangerous, envy or hate? So I want to take it one, one step further. What's more dangerous, envy, hate, or love? What's more dangerous? Yeah. Is that a context to dangerous or just interpret as you will type shit? Interpret as you will, but which one? Which concept is more dangerous, envy, hate, or love? They only cover envy and hate, but it stemmed off to love after one brought another concept in it. So I just want to originate the concept starting as which one is more dangerous, envy, hate, or love? I would say envy. I'm thinking envy myself. Yeah. I would say uh, for me, <clears throat> hate is something like that. That's a type of emotion that you can do but you can do that from afar like you can hate somebody and want to and, and dislike them but not do anything to them you just hate them like you hate their existence you might not even come into contact with this person on a day-to-day -day basis but you can hate them so all right so that's not really as harmful unless you really put activation behind it and that's a farther stretch to activation with love if it's real love on any level, if it's really love, you not gonna fuck me over because you love me. Like real love don't fuck over. It's uh. it's the next part that I'm about to get to that turns into a problem. It's envy and jealousy. It can start as jealousy, but once it get to envy, envy 
the act of being envious means you want what I have. Which means at that point, that doesn't mean you want stuff like me or you mad because you don't have stuff like me. You want what I have. You want my girl. You want my car. You want my crib. You want my bank account. You want my friends. You want my status. You want what I have. So at that point, to me, envy has an automatic action piece to it. Because if you want with something someone has, then you're gonna go for that. Like hate, but, you're just gonna go for whatever allows you to not be in contact with me. That may be distance. Envy is gonna always lead to action that makes you wanna do something to me to move me out of the way. But so with hate though, That's because kind of say, say a person hate in the context of hate you talk about. Say if a person hates you so much or hates what you have so much, they just don't want you to have it. So they're willing to do something just so you don't have it. They don't hate, they don't, they hate like this nigga got this shit. Why this nigga got it? I ain't got it. This nigga don't need that shit. Let me take that shit or let me do something to prevent him from being able to attain this shit. You feel me? So me personally, I just look at it like you feel me? as far as the envy, envy, I see envy breeds hate. You feel me? Envy starts out small. Sure, you may want what I want or want what I have, and you're envious of how I'm doing what I'm doing. But I feel like too much envy goes to the next level that breeds hate, breeds hatred, where you're willing to do whatever to, uh, like I said, stop what I'm doing, prevent me from doing or take what I got. As far as the love thing, I see love is dangerous too because you could be envious and hate me for the love I'm getting. I mean, we could be two, we could be two homeboys. And we both are getting it, but I'm getting more love than you get. You feel me? Like I'm getting more attention than you get. People are tra- people are um, people are like magnetized to me more. You feel me? That love I'm getting may breed and eventually breed envy and hate in you, which spawns the other feelings. So if I'm just looking at which is more dangerous, I'm going to say. I'm going to agree with you. Say envy because, like I said. I feel like envy could be the most dangerous spawn. It could spawn the, everything else from it. I don't see no one that's naturally just hating you, you feel me, and, and wanting to take it to the violent level to stop you as much as someone who's envious of you wanting to take it to that level. Um, the, the lack of love or the, how can I say, the amount of love someone's getting, I can see that, and I have seen that, lead to other lead to bullshit but not as much as i have seen the envy the envious motherfuckers lead to violence or just dangerous situations um we see this every day in the street where you got the whoever's the shot caller is a big ball or whatever doing what he do and people in his own crew take him out even because they're not getting what he getting or they're not making what he making so i mean that's just that's just my perspective Pat, what you think man I think envy gives you gives you a reason because you can hate for no reason. Like you can hate everything for no reason. I don't like humans pretty much. <laughs> I don't like them at all. The reason why I got COVID in the first damn place. But, <clears throat> but I mean, like you can like hate and love have more. I don't know, they have more free range of, more examples of not doing anything. Some, at the same time, having a lot of examples of some, something happening. Envy, envy is a specific reason. Like that's one of those things that they put on the list when something actually happens, when there's some type of violence or whatever. That's one of the things they look at when they're going down a list of things of of why would this person get killed or murdered or 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 hurt in any type of way or whatever. So I, I feel like if anything, envy is a certain type of hate. It's a it's a it's a um it's a it's a hate with its own style to it, if you get what I mean. I don't know. Yeah. I feel, I feel you. I, I, I would just say to me, I think it's like I got a few, 
I agree with both of y'all. I just got a flip perspective on how I see envy as far as like where Faye said, like the hate and the love can come from the envy. To me, I think it's the other way around where it's like those two emotions give you options. Mm-hmm. From hate or love, you can get, you can want to harm a person. You can want to get away from a person. You can want to do absolutely nothing but just hate or love them from afar. But it gives you options. To me, like once your hate or your love turns into envy, you have now put a purpose behind something to where, like, when you think of the difference, like hate doesn't require you to take from anything. Love doesn't require you to take from anything. If anything, Uh those two things require you to either abstain from or to give to. Envy requires you to, like, I'm going to take something from you because I want it for myself. So in, in nature of what that emotion or that feeling invokes, it's going to make the person who feels it feel more actionable toward a certain direction. Like I'm going toward that thing that I feel this emotion toward. Whereas love, I might love from afar to the point where I leave you alone because I love you so much. Or I hate you so much, I don't want to be around you at all, so I just leave the area or leave the situation. Whereas if I envy you, I'm going to stay around you, and I'm going to be looking to either do you harm or find a way to take from what you have, because I want it for myself. So my action steps are all going to be driven at that target, as opposed to the other two, which gives you outlet. I think it's just more of a narrow-minded focus of one of those two hate or love that turns it into envy and then puts you in that position. But it all leads to, like, I think we all just agree that envy is the one that's going to make somebody, like, guaranteed to fuck somebody else over, I think. I think I think envy, I think love and hate is too abstract of a, of a thing. Like, I feel like those two are in a category of itself. And then envy is like, I'm, trying, um, I'm thinking like the seven deadly sins, right? You got like the seven deadly sins, seven deadly virtues. Like love and hate can make you want to do either one of those sins or one of those virtues. Like, like you could, like you could love someone so much and less for them. You know okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I know. You you can you can you can love you can love something that somebody has and envy that. You know like, what I mean? It's like love and hate are the two roots, and you choose which <clears throat> tree you want to follow based off of which mm-hmm. root you pick. Yeah, yeah. You I'm can hate something to the point that you have wrath. You know, like you can, you know, you can love something to a point where you have sloth and you just want to do what you love so much. You get what I mean? Like, I think that's like, I think that's it. I can't think of the virtues. I think the virtue, I know pride is one of them. You know, like you can have so much love that you have pride and all that other stuff. But that's, that's what I'm getting at. I forgot what the virtues are. They're like the complete opposite of the sins, basically. It's like, I see it as love and hate being like mirror images of each other on their on their own opposite ends of the spectrum. You feel me? Because it's both of them are extremes of each other. You feel me? Like both of them at that that one end, love is like the most positive, most pure of the emotions, and at the other end, hate is the most negative, most vile of emotions that you can have towards somebody else. You feel me? And I like at a certain point, you put them in the mirror. I feel like love and hate will see each other in the mirror and each other's reflection when they look at each other it's feel me of how you handle situations because a situation for something you love you want to go into no bounds to protect and, and, and love but in the, in the other sense something you hate you want to go to no bounds to offend or harm you feel me so to a certain point I, I can see those just like an individual for like for a visual representation She's like love and hate looking into the mirror and seeing each other. So I definitely think that 
you can look at it like that. Like they like two um, umbrella concepts, and under those umbrellas, you got all of these other different emotions, and those emotions can be applied under whichever umbrella you feel. But those are like the two, the two stems of everything. I went. I went ahead and love and hate with two different people. They can look in the mirror and see each other. I I went ahead and actually looked up the virtues and the sins. I don't know if y'all really want to get into it, but <clears throat> so, hey, man, well, man, man. all right. So the opposite of lust is chastity. Okay, I can see that. Okay. Um. Okay. Gluttony is temperance, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, that means voluntary self-restraint. Okay. okay so yeah, your ability to control yourself. God damn it. Mm -hmm. Where did it go? Mm -hmm. I need you to go back to it's where I... Way. There we go. All right. I'm with this uh, this motherfucking weed. Greed is charity. Okay, yep. That makes sense. Taking too Slaw much or giving too much. See yeah, that. sloth is diligence. Yeah, envy is kindness. Okay. Yeah, wrath is patience. Mm -hmm. That makes, sense. and pride is humility. Yeah, I see that. All yeah, all me, all checks out. Okay, mm -hmm. I of all the most clear examples. What? What did you say? You just went out. I said out of all the out of all the comparisons, I see pride and humility as the clearest examples. Yeah. Oh no, they are pretty much good, good uh yin and yangs of each other. I, I mm -hmm. feel like they, they they pretty much self-explained the door too. I, I feel like it's like the basics of the world, man. Like it's always pretty much what we say, like the authenticity, the integrity, the like. Saying what you are, sticking to it, working hard, you know what I mean? Not being greedy, you know what I'm saying? Giving back. Give to the needy. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not being all about yourself, but you know what I mean? Recognizing your place in the world and how you'll affect the world around you. Like, it's all the shit we always be talking about is just crystallized into some terms, but mm -hmm. it, it all boiled down to, like, when you're talking about, like, envy, hate, or love, like, Love is the easiest one to me, man. Like it, it got the, the 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 least resistance in its path. Like I feel like all of the other paths you can take outside of love, man. Like anything that comes from the hate side is gonna always lead to a more bumpy road. Like you're gonna end up in more arguments, you're gonna end up in more shit, you're gonna lose more shit in the long run. In the long run. In the short term, you know what I'm saying, they whatever, but in the long run. And I think that that's what a lot of it boiled down to. Like most of the negative shit is like instant gratification. And then every, and then like most of the, 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 the more good shit is like that delayed gratification. Like you look at all of that shit, humility, patience. Like it's all about delaying something. It's delaying attention. It's delaying me getting food or getting extra or me delaying attention or me delaying um, whatever it is. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it's just like the difference between the microwave society and the people who I can still wait in line for some shit. Like, uh -huh. it's your mentality. You know what I mean? Because envy, that's basically where they come from. It's like, I want it now. Right. Instead of me. Like the difference between hate and envy, right? Hate can drive you to be better, right? Because I can hate on somebody so bad, be like, how the fuck this nigga get all this shit and be like, you know what? I'm gonna outwork this nigga and I'm gonna get better than him. Envy is gonna make me try to take the shortcut and try to take what he got. Not actually put in the work to earn it so where I can, I can sustain it once I get it. Like envy is what makes people hurry up and buy a house before somebody else buy it, but then they lose the house in three years because they can't actually afford it. But they just wanted it because somebody else was, was looking at it and they wanted to have it because they didn't want this other person. Have it. You know what I'm saying? So like uh -huh. envy makes you make like real impulse shit, but it's all coming from that hatred. Like if you from the love side of things, you don't get to envy. 
you may get to hate what you didn't take you to envy, but you got to leave the whole love tree because love is going to take you to humility, respect, um, integrity, like working hard because it, it's a passion. Like think about what you love to do. You are you you diligent with. It. Uh, and most of the people who are really great at something, when they really work hard at it, they're not braggadocious about it. They're usually more humble about that thing than anywhere else. They might be braggadocious about their cars, their jewelry, their watches, but when it comes to their basketball game, they'll be like, you know, yeah, I, I put in the work. Or when it comes to their ability as a surgeon, you know, I, I went to school and I work, I really studied. You know what I mean? Like, they're more humble about, like, Love in any aspect, in any arena, leads you to those virtues. Mm. Hate, at some point, will lead you to one of those sins. And I feel like that that's the thing. But you got to get to one of those sins, you have to go off of the love tree. So you got to go all the way back down that route, go over to the hate, and then go up that tree. Because they, they don't operate the same. Like, if you're on the love train in any aspect, whether it's relationships, whether it's passion for a project, or a skill or a, a talent you have, I feel like it's always gonna come back to, if you love it, it's gonna lead you down the virtuous path on it because you're gonna care enough about that thing, that entity, that person, enough to not want any harm to come his way. You're gonna think long-term. You're gonna think delayed gratification because you're gonna wanna be thinking like, how do I get this thing to thrive? Because I care about it. You know what I mean? Like you think about a, a parent and his child because you love that thing so much, you will delay a lot of shit. You will sacrifice. You will be more humble. It's not about you. You will, you will pour all of your work into it. You will, even if like the laziest people I know, if they're good parents, they may be lazy at every job. But when it comes to taking care of their kids, they are ridiculously overworked. Like, they are all about it. Like, at every event, whatever, like, whatever that kid be, they right there. So, like, I feel like when you love something, whatever it is, it's all virtues. Because you care about that thing enough to want it to grow and thrive. When you hate something, it's going to lead you to that one of, those, one of those sins, like envy, that is what actually leads to the negative action steps that make shit get torn down. Like, I think I, I think they got this wrong up here because they had they have kindness as the opposite of envy and patience the opposite of wrath. I feel like that should be flipped. I feel like patience should be the opposite of envy because if you're patient, then you're not you can you can wait for when your stuff you know what you want gets to you and envy you want it right now and then instead of kindness. So, so what does kindness mean? Kindness is the act or the ideal mm -hmm. of doing for those outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. Wanting True. to give to those outside of yourself. Envy is wanting to take away from those outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. Literally the flip. If you look at what patience is, patient, patience is again, mm -hmm. not only is it delaying or being able to handle delay anything it's also understand wrath is acting out upon something without understanding it's literally just acting out blindly so like when you think about like really what they break down to and you think about these words like they really are like the yin and the yang of each other when you uh -huh. break them down to the essence of what each word is not just like uh -huh the common usage because you got to remember all these yeah. words got like these multiple meanings and all of that. So when you break it down, like there is some validity to each one. I think it's just, again, though, like we started with the love and the hate, you know what I mean? And we added in the envy, but again, I, I think if we go even go back to faces analogy of the two people looking at each other in the mirror, they can't be in the exact same space at the same time. They're still separated by a mirror. There's still that separation in that you can't do one or you have to pick. You got to uh -huh. step through the mirror and be one or you got to be the other, but you can't mix them together because they can't operate in the same place because they're, they're, they're two sides of a coin. You know what I mean? If I flip the side, if I flip a coin one way, 
it, it literally cannot be flipped up the other way. It's impossible for them both to be flipped up. The, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. it is. It, that is what it is. And this and this conversation was not planned. This was <laughs> no, we just podding and shit. We just podding. We just podding. That's what I heard. Uh, Joe so, and have said that we just podding. Oh, uh, oh, uh, so. Just another thought. Other, just another thought. It triggered uh, just uh, the definitions you gave of wrath and patience. So it was talking about just the violence in the street, and it was going off the um, the murder of um, the the nigga Alpo. It mm. was like, what's more dangerous, the wrath of a young man or the patience of an old man? It's like they basically they, they, they're basically even. One is a, they're basically just about time because they both can be just as, as vengeful and as violent. One just has a sudden response. An old man can hold a grudge, or a person of maturity can hold a grudge and not, and not attack you or not whatever, just cut you off and remember what's happened. And when you come back around, oh, I do remember this, or whatever, whatever, whatever. But a young man, a person who acts out of maturity, who acts out purely of emotion, that wrath is what you get, that instant. I feel this way. I, I give you this. So I mean, like, it's just it's just bringing bringing up just different different thoughts. Man. You feel me? Like an old uh, man, like an old uh, man. Some of them, or just a man of maturity, um, has patience. But then again, a man of maturity will let things go too. Um, some cross came across my plate and said. Men, men always hold grudges. Men never let go of grudges. I'm not gonna. I, I wouldn't agree with that. I would say like we remember shit. We for, we forgive, but we ain't gonna let you cross us twice. You feel me? Like so, it ain't holding a grudge. It's just putting the mental roller decks at a place where you sit in life. That's all. You fuck us over. That's your place in life. We're not gonna fuck with you to a certain extent because we know where we how how far we can take it with you. It ain't a grudge. It's just categorizing people by their actions. Yeah, I, I would say they're both uh, things you said there. Uh, as far as the first part about uh, shit, the wrath, and which one is more dangerous, wrath or the patience? I'm gonna definitely say the patience. Uh, the patience is planned out, so it has a more it's a, has a higher efficacy rate. It's, it's more likely to be effective towards <clears throat> its target. Wrath, it, it may be more explosive or violent in its approach, but it can also be counteracted easily because if you're patient enough, you can see wrath coming and block that shit. You know what I'm saying? Or come up with a, a counteractor for it. So I think that, that that's to me. But um, and then on the second part, uh shit, man, I had a good ass point. God damn it, old man brain. Um, what was the last thing you said, that? real quick? I don't even remember what nigga I'm talking about. It's in the you now. I, I think like the old man has a time <laughs> over time. Like the oh, I got you. The mm. holding grudges shit. I was gonna say yeah. I don't think it's that men hold grudges as much as men modify relationships. So like to the target, it may seem like the grudge is hell because I'm more comfortable just it holding you off at an arm's length now and leaving it that way and not going back on that. Like I'm least uh, men are less likely to give you multiple chances. Uh, yeah, we, we we have less of a there you go. Uh, it's not even a forgiveness. It's, it's less of a a chance. It's like I can we'll, forgive we'll, you and still we'll not that. want you around me because I don't want to deal with the thing no more. So whatever the problem was <laughs> in the first place, I just keep it moving. Like I'm good. So yeah. I think it's more just men will modify to and even deeper level. Keep it there. I can love it stuck. You just went out, face. Just to let you know. We stop that. We can love. You should let me love you. Mm. Let me be the one to give. Like See, you can love a person, but still love them from afar. You feel me? 
because you know how that person is. We all got that person in, their, in our family who you just can't leave alone. You feel me? When they around. Leave them alone. We love you. But God damn it. I got to love you from afar. Because I ain't gonna let you steal my shit. Yeah. I also <laughs> love my microwave. And my kids' bikes. And, and my TV. I don't think we have the leisure to keep, you know, giving people chances. Just man, I'll tell you much. what it is, man. It, it ain't even leisure, bro. I think is we don't have we don't have the emotional fortitude to deal with extended pain. Like that's what separates us from women in relationships a lot of times. Like that's why a woman can deal with getting cheated on and forgive and stay with. Men can forgive, but now you're just my buddy. We're never gonna be together again. Like, and that's if I even keep you around me. But if I do, we're never gonna be on that level again. Cause I, I'm gonna remember that pain and stay away from it. We, we, uh-huh. We're like, like women are more like, I wanna soothe the situation back to, and I'll, I'll continue to deal with it as long as I'm getting this. Men will find this somewhere else. <clears throat> We don't have that nesting factor. So for us, there's no real stake in staying in one space. And it goes back to biology again. Like, I think a lot of times people really forget, like at the end of the day, people can say what they want to say. People can argue this shit all to the high heavens. And we can have these arguments about everything in society a million, for a million years from now. We're still going to be mammals. We're still going to be animals. We're still going to be genetically kind of tied to certain behaviors and actions and and patterns until evolution kicks over and we change that. But for the next million years, you can look forward to males of our species being more geared towards a nomad way of thinking. Uh, Conquer this, move to the next. Conquer this, move to the next. And that goes to everything. So even when you look at a grudge, like it ain't no grudge, really. It's just like, all right, I've learned from this. I see the effects of this. I'm going to move over here because I don't need to be in this space to get what I need. I can get what I need over here in this space and still be fulfilled. So I think mm-hmm. that that's the big thing. It ain't that we hold grudges. We just will adjust and move on very comfortably and quickly. There's no repeat offense for us a lot of times. True. If it is, it, it, we, we, you know, we it, it is a love beyond whether that's friendship, family, or relationship. Like if you see us stick around somebody that demurked us like a million times, shit is real. That's the love of all loves of all loves, or we don't. But usually, it's the, it's some real some real so, sick. Sometimes shit. it could be both. I should. I should. I should. Amen. Tax plus taxes, I think people say. I tell you what Tax else is a alone. fact. I tell you what else is a fact, man. I, I don't mean to cut your wisdom here, man, but uh, I did look at the clock and it did tell me that it was about that time. Look at oh, that moment, it's about that time. It is about that time, man, because I feel the meds kicking in. Ay, 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 ay. All right, so I, I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't know what the fuck that was. We got to hurry up before Face fall asleep. He lighting up another one. Go, 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 go. Quick, quick, quick. Hey, <laughs> I can't yell it, but it's time for the good and fuckery. It's episode 57, season two, because I like saying yeah, season two. Yeah, good and fuckery! It is season and two. And Tiz is going to yell it for me because I don't got that in my voice. <laughs> It's the good and the fuckery, y'all. It's a lot of fuckery going on, too. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This nigga doing the call. (laughs) Fuck a ration. Fuck a ration. Um, I don't know if y'all seen it yet, but... This this episode of Fuck a Ration is brought to you by Jim Jones Beards. They're comfortable. 
Go ahead, Pat. <laughs> I've been waiting for mine for a long time. I had ordered it on Amazon like a couple of years back. I ain't got there yet. Only got only getting bit, bits and pieces. <laughs> Shit. An extent. I tried before the to kick your head. <laughs> oh man, probably before that happened. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, this week I want to start off. Um, Spider Man, did y'all see that yet? I have not, but you can tell me about it because I'm, you know, I don't be watching no Spider Man. I I know basically what happened, so you ain't gonna miss me. You ain't gonna spoil nothing for me, and that you know we can we can get into yeah. the shits. I, the rumors are true. Um, I'm gonna just say it's good. I can't really like. I would say, it's it's the best freaking Spider Man movie I've seen. Period. I will I will give it that. I've seen every freaking Spider Man movie. And I think pretty much it says nothing to me because I don't like none of them like that. Yeah, like, um, but yeah, I don't really fuck with Spider Man as a superhero. I like the animated series, but that was even like, you know, it was a tempered like, it was like a like by default because that's what was on. Uh, I would say if you if you're a Spider Man fan or whatever, I'm a Marvel fan, so. Spider Man is not my first choice. He's a little more like my um my younger brother's first choice or whatever. But I will say this is this is worth watching. This is actually worth watching. It it puts everything together. Everything like all the movies. It's from Spider Man, the first Tobey Maguire to this one. All of us here. The rumors are true, and everything and. I, I just I don't want to I don't want to ruin. It. I'm gonna just say the rumors. Man, are true. fuck them, fuck them people. If they ain't seen it, that's on them. Hey, I'm gonna ask you a question, old Marvel guru. Okay. Did the final spell? Did that fix the multiverse, or is it still gonna be mad crazy shit coming through the multiverse? It's just they not they still not gonna know Peter Parker. It it ain't multiverse related, girl. Okay, so this movie still it don't is, really t- it's related to the multiverse because it allowed other people to come through, but it's not tied into the big thing that not, happened in Loki not, and all that shit. Not not really. It, if it if all it right. is, it's more like so I still don't give more, a fuck about this Spider-Man movie. How I put it? It's one of those, you know, on the end of Loki <laughs> where the where you start seeing the thing branch off and everything. Like yeah, all, that's all the, why I like, add. branch off. I would say that's it probably happened when that event happened. But so, that's what I'm saying. In this yeah. timeline here, everything is back to normal pretty much. Yeah, it, everything's back to normal, but So it's not- then the main timeline is still fucked up though. Like it's still mad, crazy shit. The multiverse is still a hot mess where Kang's is about it, to come It's in. still a hot mess. There's nothing about this fixes it. Pretty so much. yeah, it, fuck the Spider Man. So yeah, um, what's the next movie that's coming out in this phase of um uh, in Marvel? Mm-hmm. Uh, the next movie would probably be is either is Thor and Let's go. it's Doctor Strange. Let's or, go. Or okay, Doctor. so you gave me you giving Strange. me two I want, and I'm cool but, with Jane Foster being the next Thor. I'm cool with that if that's where they go with it. But if you do watch Spider Man, you do get a glimpse of the next Doctor Strange movie at the very end. Say more. At the trailer, first trailer for uh, Multiverse. What happens? So give me, give me some, give me some, give me some story beats. Give me some, some highlights. Get, give it to me. Give me some details, nigga. Don't hold back. All Bring right, it down um, now. The Multiverse is know. open. Have you ever played uh, Marvel superheroes, the video game? You mean the one where you like fighting against bad guys or the one where you fighting against other people? You just fighting like there's a fighting game. Pretty okay, much. yes. You could be Wolverine, you could be Psylocke, you could be Iron Man, you could be Captain yep. America, Thanos. And they got this other one, Shuma Garath. It looked like a big octopus with an eye in the middle of it. Yeah. He had... Okay, so he's okay. a bad guy that's fighting against Doctor Strange. Yes, you know who oh, else? Oh, I played with. I, I used. I used to like to play with him. He got a decent little moves. You know who else fighting against Doctor Strange? Oh. Who did? Um, remember Baron Mordo from the first one? Yeah, the dude that was killing all the wizards. Black dude. He gonna yeah, Doctor Strange gonna fuck him up. 
You know Doctor who else? Strange got so much more experience now. Yeah, yeah, but you know who else want to fuck up Doctor Strange? Who? Doctor Strange. Evil Doctor Strange. From another universe. Have you ever have you seen the what ifs on Disney Plus? They do no, like didn't watch those. Yeah. And one of them, I watched like evil. one or two of them. I've seen some of them. But it was like the end. But I yeah. didn't catch all of it. I catch the one with I think parts of the one where the watcher was doing something crazy. He had powers and he was using them all of a sudden, which was weird to me because he ain't supposed to be what doing them. But I got the story beats from the you know the online community. But go ahead. If you if you watch the one, um, if I Dr. didn't watch, tell me anyway. Well, yeah, because yeah, I was way back. But basically, things didn't really go as planned for Doctor Strange. He started to um, something happened with someone died, and I don't know. He just started getting more and more into dark arts, so he can try to like justify the stuff. Try to bring did. back his love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then he just become crazy. more and more darker. He started absorbing like evil, like more evil entities, and then he became dark. Doctor Got Strange. it. Okay, so, so we're about to see him fight the good Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Well, let's and get to the shits. All right, now uh, we have um, okay. there's a there's a scene okay. with this um with this girl with a jacket. She has the star on the back her name is america chavez and it's this black and a she's like black and puerto rican and she can actually punch through dimensions or whatever so she's sitting there i think she can punch through dimensions yeah she could like travel so she can like hit so she can like punch a nigga in the quantum realm from here yeah just like yeah 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 oh i would beat the shit out of her so she gonna beat the shit out of everybody then because like yeah, who her name is her? America, go to a different uh, dimension and whip your ass from there and uh yeah it's going to be cool um, oh shit that, um if you remember at the end of venom 2 and he was looking at spider-man mm-hmm. in the what you call it um the end the what is it that uh pre credits scene <laughs> post credit scene whatever you call it or whatever He's like in a bar. Eddie Brock is in a bar. Yes, we got you. Yeah. He's oh, in oh, the whatever. bar. He's looking at Spider-Man. Got it. No, no, no. In this, in Spider-Man, in the movie, he's in uh-huh. a bar talking to a dude and the dude is trying to explain him the Marvel Cinematic Universe because he's somehow in the Marvel Cinematic Universe now. Got it. Or what? And he um, came through when the other villains came through. Yeah, he came through when the other villains came through, but he just sat there and got drunk. Sounds about right. So um, then when basically when um, they did the spell to get everybody back into their universes or whatever, he disappeared too. But it was a little bit of Venom symbiote left behind. Okay. So that still happened. gonna have Venom in this universe. Yep. So that's how they're yep. gonna explain that. Got it, got it, got it. I like it. All three. With all of these shits. All three Spider Man are there. Um, Tom Holland. Tom Holland beat the shit out of Green Goblin. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga was like, <laughs> and he has a good reason for that because, yeah, Green Goblin, he shoots a pumpkin bomb. It blows up. It hits um, Aunt May. And yeah, and that's when, and that's the moment where this Spider-Man learns with great power became his responsibility. Uh, with great power, it comes great responsibility. Don't Whatever come with no damn words, boy. God damn, nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. Anyway, great power with responsibility. Yeah, but yeah, that happened. Um, so he got that moment. He finally got that moment from him, and he was pissed off at Green Goblin at the end that he was about to murk. He was about to murk that nigga, man. He was about to go in. Tom Holland was about to go to fuck in. But Toby stopped him so he could save his soul and all that other stuff. <laughs> Toby. 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 Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> That's what I thought of, yo. Toby. Yep, yep, yep. 
Toby Saber. <laughs> Toby. Oh, <laughs> um, what else? My favorite person in this, Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is hilarious. Jamie Foxx! Jamie Foxx came back as a real nigga in the MCU. And he said, yup, y'all gave me, I came back, I got hair. What? I'm not blue no more. I got a decent edge up. And my powers are even more dope in this universe. I ain't trying to give this up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all gonna have to get this. Y'all gonna have to take this from me. Basically. He did but, look pretty buff in this one. Yeah, he 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 kind of went hard in this one. Whatever. Well, all right. But, oh. but um Tom Holland is he signed for like three more. But I think what's going to I think what what's going to happen because this in the end of this movie he's basically Spider Man that we all know know about he broke his head no basically to solve the problem of all the people coming in from different universes he had to um, stop the strange had to spell nobody where, knows who he is yeah basically uh -huh. so. Now nobody knows who he is. Um, the costume at the end of the basically the movie looked more like a traditional Spider-Man costume. So this seems like your this seems like the he's becoming the Spider-Man that we all know about. We all know and love the friendly neighborhood one. Broke his shit, selling pictures of Spider-Man so he can get his rent paid. Spider-Man. I uh. I didn't so, know he was broke um, like that, so uh okay. Yeah, that, that, that yeah, didn't yeah, have no like, bread, so cool. He yeah. was working at that motherfucker news. Well, me, well, I mean, I knew yeah. he worked at the news, like, but I didn't know he was like, you know, that no, was what he was going to be. Like, his character arc that, was yeah, yeah. broken shit. That's well, a constant yeah, joke broke, in, yeah. in um Marvel. Matter of fact, I had a it was a comic book where um Iron Man was like, Hey, you could be part of Adventures, and he was like, um, <laughs> what did he say? Well, will I get paid? It's like, yes, we have money. And he was like, oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Oh. I was so weak or whatever. But yeah, he has a continuous running gag of him just being broke as shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, That's like, take pictures of himself and shit. Tell motherfuckers he called him motherfuckers Spider Man in this position. Took pictures and shit. Sell pictures of newspaper and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. That's why. Um, Early on, he became popular because people could relate to him a little bit more. Like, you got a guy, he's trying to make his way through life. Uh, mm -hmm. pay just his a rent. guy trying to make it through life. Call or whatever. Me little Spider Man. Got a secret night job or whatever, don't want everybody to know about <laughs> pretty much. But, yeah, like man, that was dude that's in the gay porn. Pause. <laughs> pause. 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 Anyway, but um, yeah, yeah and out. and then Jamie Foxx was thought that Spider Man was gonna be black because he always wear the mask and he's always helping broke folk. I thought that was funny, but anyway. yeah, I'm trying to figure out why he was the only one that didn't know who Peter Parker was. Well, I mean, it's something man, about this. I mean, well, Electro in that universe, in um, the Andrew Garfield universe, didn't know who Spider-Man was at first. But anyway, um, this week, matter of fact, tomorrow, actually today, because it's 12 now. So um, which one Matrix, is it? <laughs> today, what's right the, what's now. What's the date? To date, today is the, well, now it's the 22nd. Of December. Is that and when this Matrix. event that you're about to speak on is happening? Yes. Matrix okay. Resurrection. Okay. Supposed okay. to come out on HBO Max. Yay. And theaters, right? So yeah. I'm ready for that, it. I'm ready for it too. Oh, I'm I'm I don't know, man. I'm kind of oh. scared, man. The Matrix is a great, of. great trilogy. And I'm like, just like you, I'm like. Man, I hope they don't just make another one just to fuck it up. Man, you know what? 
I don't care enough about this the original trilogy past the first mm. one to care if they fuck it up. So at this point, I'm just looking at it like it's a brand new movie. I ain't gonna need front. True. True. Like I have no expectations on it. I, I'm literally just going there just to see what the hell happens. Yeah. And whatever they come up with, I'm gonna roll with it. True, true. Yes, sir. True, well, true, true. Uh, if they don't charge me no extra like money, just like watch it, you know, <laughs> on HBO Max. But because oh, HBO Max charge. is different. They're gonna HBO is definitely good for like, hey, if you want the seasons pass or whatever for this, that, and the third. I'm like, all right. But I ain't going to the movie theater for that, of course. Anyway. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do those things. I don't go to movie theaters no more. Nah, nah, I ain't been to one in a minute, but I would still go. But Everything I, I want to see at the movie theaters come out on HBO Max or Disney exactly. Plus. So I was like, well, shit. It's one movie theater I what? would go to. It's a little old school movie theater out here in the country. She like $5 for all new releases. But I still don't trust it. So I don't go to movie theaters no more, man. If yeah, I go early in the day when it's empty. That flu monkey out here, I don't fuck with. It. I used to go <laughs> to the, the movies just to just by myself because I was just into the movies and this Marvel movie period pretty much but if I would go I would go like early in the morning or something where I know it wasn't anybody there or whatever or like when one of them random days I just know I I might just be the only person in this theater. Yeah that's what I'm saying like you gotta go oh, early man. in the morning and, and shit when mm-hmm. they know nobody gonna be there. <clears throat> well yeah. um why you will run into the flu monkey? Flu, flu, flu monkey, flu monkey. Uh, uh, flu. Ooh, ah! <laughs> flu monkey, flu monkey, flu monkey, flu monkey. Get that flu monkey over there. Yeah. Well, uh, wait from the good. Go let me go right into the fuckery or whatever. Go on, um, go on, go on into it. Pause. <laughs> so, uh, first on the list, um, I just actually saw this right before we started recording. So I was like, you know what? Might as well just add it in. A dinosaur embryo has been found inside a fossilized egg. Is it still so- viable? Yeah, they actually have like a, um, they actually, I showed, it showed like a picture of the embryo inside of it and everything. Like, no, I said, like, is it still viable? Are you understanding what I'm asking you? No, nah, explain viable. All right. I so, know. I mean, like, can the embryo still be fertilized or is it just like an embryo that's like a fossilized embryo? It's just fossilized. It's just okay. fossilized. Yeah, gotcha. it's nothing. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Yeah. Just making sure I understand if we're about to have a real live Jurassic World or anything. Um, you know how um you know how science has been lately. They trying to procreate robots. You never know what they're trying to be next. So yeah, but, so hey, feel better carry her ass on too. <laughs> or any damn dinosaur. Exactly. Everybody got time for this shit. So, but yeah, they found it in China, and I just like to keep an eye on China. Yeah. Always got to keep an eye on China. China be up to they some found- bullshit. Yeah, China's doing too much. China's trying to colonize. Uh, I say colonize. Col- okay, you <laughs> I got can't, it. No you word. It? I can't say, say a word. About? What are they Col- trying to do? Colonize Africa. Yeah, it is a lot of them now, over there setting up shop. Economically, I think they mm-hmm. even like they got a uh, like the biggest right. now in Jamaica is a uh, owned by China or whatever. They got this thing where in some countries where they um like they're giving the money to like basically build the infrastructure and stuff like that, and it's like a loan. But if they don't pay the loan they just end up owning the building or whatever they gave gave them pretty much Mm. so economic 
colonization, basically. Got it. You but, see, you, yeah. got, see, you see, you got through that, Pat. Look at that. I ain't got through nothing right now. I ain't got through <laughs> not a damn thing. Fucking got this Omicron. Omicron. The Omegatron. <clears throat> All in my shit. All up. Or whatever. But I'm uh, right into the fuckery. Um, next fuckery. Bootsy Badass. What the truth about said Bootsy Collins? Not Bootsy Collins, but. Bootsy Badass is officially an ordained minister. And All we'll right, charge... Pastor Bootsy. <laughs> it will charge 75K to officiate weddings. The choir is going to now sing a B selection. It's called Wipe Me Down. Y'all know it. If you, like, if you know it, sing along. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Oh, Lord, wipe me down. Universal Life Church Ministries. That is his card that he has. He's showed Universal it up. Universal on- Life Church. Come on now, ULF. <laughs> Come on, Boosie. He says, if you want Boosie to marry you, let me know. <laughs> what, are you, you want- what does he mean? Oh, you mean like officiate your marriage? Yeah. Oh, because I was like, well, he out here taking marry- wifey resumes now. He pulling the Uma. That's what he says. It was like, uh, in a new clip courtesy of the Shade Room, Boosie is seen showing off his official minister license from Universal Life Church Ministries. During yeah. the video, he announces that he's willing to offer wedding services for anywhere between 75 to 100K. If you, if you want Bootsy to marry you, let me know. If you want Bootsy to marry you. I got my motherfucking license. <laughs> Y'all all at me. This my new thing. Big bullshit. 75K to 100K. Big Bootsy badass. <laughs> it's a minister now. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the badass. Uh, there you have it, folks. Um. Get your marriage by Pastor Badass, whatever you feel like, you know. I want to see the first one. But I want to see the first celebrity. It's going to be your wedding. You and Chicken No, Nah. Y'all going to have their first official badass wedding. (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead and get you a badass wedding, man. Tell us how it go. That's going to be a vlog for the channel, bro. Content, baby. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god this is like a badass the, wedding oh that's what god. they gonna be called ain't it the badass weddings that's gonna be man hey we recorded this first man he decided to make a reality tv show called the badass, badass weddings yo that's the it one I yo he should do that <laughs> and have like a reality show about weddings that are fucked up badass weddings Badass weddings with disease. Jeez. Faced them those off over there. I think we lost them again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's just eating. Oh, ah, look at that. You gotta he's watch. Eating. You gotta watch because he'll pull one on you. Yeah, he, he, he's right. just trying to chew in your ear, no. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it. I ain't mad at that part, but still gotta watch yeah. it. Never know what you did. Just don't act like I'm outlandish. Know. Don't act like I'm outlandish for thinking that or like it's, it's absurd. <laughs> like that never happened before or nothing, you know. Yes, yes, you nigga. Mwah ass. Yes, you nigga. Ain't no moi. Ain't no moi. You nigga. <laughs> you Negro. Yes, you. Looking like most deaf cousin, you. Yes, Neo Soul, you. You, 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 you. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, are you frozen? No, you just froze. Oh, I was, <laughs> like, froze. I was like, why he keep doing that to me? Stop. I don't know why that was bothering me so much, but it was, it was very upset. But, but yep. 
It's just, we it's, have an argument, nigga. Don't do no shit like that to me. I don't know why, but that really triggered me for some reason. Just sit there, just <laughs> nigga, yes, you stop. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's just crazy. Oh man, so he's good. still frozen like that on my screen. Why is this happening to me? He's frozen on my screen. <laughs> 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 he's frozen I on my like I, I do not like this, Sam. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's crying. laughs> yeah, what? what what's he get back up here he's gonna be back up here like it, it was, was horrible oh. this is the worst <laughs> <laughs> like of, of, of all the ways he could have froze he would freeze the way that was like exactly what i was responding to the whole time okay great over there laughing like he cooking grease or something. Like the battle rapper T Rex laugh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh man. Speaking of from, from talking about dinosaur embryo, <laughs> T Rex. <laughs> Good. He off my screen looking like that. Thank you. When he come back, he'll be eating it. <laughs> that was good and terrible. Oh, I did not like that at all. That was the worst moment in our podcast history right there. <laughs> that, that, I don't know why that made me so upset, but I do not like that. Folks out there, hey, internet trolls, you want to piss me the fuck off? Send me a picture of your ass just sitting there looking at me like, mwah, mwah. Last call on that's that's gonna be the way. I don't we know why, but that'll get a nigga shot. I, I can't even explain like why that is so irritating, but that is the most irritating thing ever to me for some reason. That I didn't even know I didn't like that till that just happened to me. I think, it was, I think it was the longevity of it because I've I've seen people do that before, like it's happened in front of me before, but I think it was the longevity of it on my screen, just looking at me like why I was just like taunting me like why 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 nigga, yes you yes you you nigga you oh man <laughs> fuck that shit oh my God. the audacity. Yeah, all of that. Oh man. Well, <laughs> speaking of our dad, back on the fuckery. Oh yeah. Oh man. Speak, speaking of audacity and everything, um, that nigga snotty as hell over there. God damn it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Blow your nose. Shit. About to be eating oh, that I'm shit. To, About to have a uh, no a mouth full of boogers. Oh shit! <laughs> That's me. Ah oh, shit! You know, like that's not cussing and booger putting fat. Nah, man, that I, I don't want to deal with nothing to do with that right now. That's why I'm taking Korea. all these meds now, anyway. That's what they eat in North Korea, North Korea to make them strong. That's how they be winning the squid game. All right, go ahead, Pat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if that I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Pat was looking like, no, stop. Oh, boy, this shit. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to segue <laughs> this Hey, here you go. You the man. Segue that shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. What I was saying, um, Speaking of eating and audacity and all that other stuff, Jim Jones is evidently naming his next album after the restaurant him and Freddie Glibs. I say Glibs. <laughs> Freddie Glibs. <laughs> Allegedly clashed Freddie at. Gibbs. Freddie, Freddie Glibs. Freddie Glibs. Glibs. Freddie Glibs. Whatever. Glibs. But uh, long story short, uh, Jim Jones and Freddie Gibbs have beef because they all, because they both think each other are fake gangsters. And they clashed and they said one person got hit. They all both Who got hit. Like Freddie Gibbs. Oh shit. Freddie Gibbs Jim, by Jimmy. You know, snuff that nigga. Yeah, it looked like it or whatever. But oh, um, but um 
Yeah, it looked like um, the Freddie Gibbs got back. You know, you know how they go on at, uh, social media to say, "Hey, I look all right. I look all right." They both mm-hmm. look like they didn't really get into too much in the scuffle, but so it wasn't too bad before somebody broke it up. No, no, it wasn't. Bad. Okay, so it's one, had... it one of them NBA hold me back moments. Mm, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. So, but Old man um, fights is something you got to deal with. But uh, Jim Jones is naming the album he's making with Hitmaker, aka Young Bird, uh, Prime 112, because that's the restaurant they got into a scuffle with. Jim that's Jones crazy. was leaving, Freddie Don't Gibbs was going Don't in, do that, pause. <laughs> Don't do that, Jim. And that's how it happened. Let that shit go. It ain't even worth it at this point. Freddie Gibbs is making more and more of a mockery of himself by the day. Just let that shit go. Yeah. Y'all yeah, niggas too old, man. Y'all acting like this. Right. Uh, <laughs> at, your, at your age, nigga. That nigga's at like 50 years age. old, man. When you, when you got gaps in your car at rolls your age, and shit, man. Actual age, actual age, dress your age. Shall I be? You shouldn't be doing the same shit teenagers as well. If it's uh, if it's one of them, I right, we're gonna just go ahead and shoot fair one, and then all right, we ain't gonna even bring this up ever again or whatever. That's cool, but the simple fact that he's naming it after that the restaurant. Yeah, they're feels, too old to be being petty like that. Like, yeah, be that for the youngins, man. Yeah, the, young, the youngins are good at petty, man. This ain't our generation, man. Go ahead with that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. One youngster that seems like he's a little too petty. Black youngster performing his young Dolph this uh what? this weekend. Ooh. Yeah, he's like where was he at when he, when he did that? He was in Memphis. Um Ooh. yeah, um I guess, was he in Memphis? No, he was in Dallas. He was in oh, Dallas. Okay. Okay. Aces of Dallas nightclub in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, I'll just say because you about to tell me the next thing is this shit got shot up then, right? Yeah, that's that's why I would yeah, I would think next, but I can't see that happening in Memphis right now. And, and not leading to a big scuffle Wolfski. Yeah, nah. I think it's time to just go ahead and let that beef go too, especially with them already implicating them and and, and trying to say that them him and uh, God is behind that shit. I think they might want to just go ahead and yeah. Keep that shit moving, you know. Talk about some music. Yeah, I man. think Yo Gotti is the only one that's acting smart in this situation because I have heard nothing from him at all about it since it has happened. But uh, Black Youngster, he's like, uh, yeah, I performed it. I said it. I felt it then. I feel it now. Nothing has changed. I'm not doing, I'm not having no sympathy for it. Uh, only God can judge me. All that other catchy phrase stuff you could say. Mm-hmm. So people, I don't care what y'all think of me. All that other stuff. And I like black youngster, but come on, man. That's not do. Um, I feel yeah, like man. the way he act, this seemed like this kind of fits him. Like I wasn't really ex- expecting him to do all this, but at the same time, it doesn't surprise me. Agreed. It doesn't. He's, he's, he seems like he's for right all the ignorant shit. His character. Yeah, right on line. Right on brand. Right yeah. on brand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Agree. But, Definitely agree yeah. with you there, brother. Because he, he, well, he, he's the one that really popularized the whole money phone thing, pretty much. Yes, he did, didn't he? Mm-hmm. He, he made, he's the one that made, mm-hmm. made that jump popular. Well, in that Pretty case, much. you know, he really needs to stop because I'm I'm kind of upset that that became a thing. Mm-hmm. They're going to put some books up to your ear. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Uh, and a couple of other, probably uh, some lawyers up into your ear because, uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, yeah, I don't see this ending well. No, I don't either. I don't either. I, I, I would be as quiet as possible right now. That's all I can say. Like, you, I mean, you wouldn't hear a peep out of me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I would, 
nigga would have performed like when nobody Soulja but the people that was there no like when mm-hmm. Soulja was talking or whatever he quiet up real real quick this guy he's like he almost like he wants to say it was me <laughs> pretty much uh, let him go ahead and do some dumb shit like that mm. they always willing to lock a nigga up they don't mind. They are. They are more than you want to get locked up. They, they are more than willing to oblige. So humbly oblige. Shit, but if he want to stay free, he should just go ahead and be quiet. Let this shit subside and um, move on with his career. Especially if he did not have anything to do with it, because getting tied up in this shit ain't get you no clout, nigga. This is a uh, just gonna get you some uh. Some shackles. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Get your ass with you. I don't years. mean no Mary Mary type. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all the fucker that has accumulated within the week. Well, that's all right. I got one Thank for that you. Was- oh shit. We're gonna end on a good fuckery today. Um yeah, um, it's a fuckery. Y'all heard about the um the other rapper on the um, from the West Coast getting stabbed Drake and naked down on stage. At the- oh, yeah. Drake, yeah. Draco. Yeah, mm-hmm. Draco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's some crazy shit on stage though. Mm. Yeah, shit yeah, getting real out here in these streets. No, California. Mm-hmm. Now I know. Within our podcast, we have said a lot of good things about California, but they say nowadays California is the purge, man. Nigga, like, nowadays Biggie and Tupac got killed in California. So well, like, I'm nowadays, saying this shit been the Wild West out there. They call no, it the I'm, Wild West. The world, world West. They they're saying like the it's world, even world. worse. Like people broad day, like people abroad day getting raw. Ro- Rob, not like in the hood areas. I mean, like in everywhere in LA. If you in Rodeo, you in whatever, they just rolling up on you, um, broad day robbing you. The police are saying it is not safe to Nigga, visit. I thought you LA. was about to say the police are even robbing. Now, not not like oh, well, that, sounds, that sounds plausible. But the police are saying we don't have enough police and. It's not safe for you to visit Man. LA. Basically, oh, police got enough police when they want to beat the shit out of somebody. And then, I mean, this ain't like the first mm-hmm. time I've heard. Like, I'm I'm hearing numerous people say this. Like, I, I my friend that uh, um that's from LA. She she told me that some stories so far, and I even heard like Whack One Hundred on up there saying, "Hey, I don't even know what's going on. I'm about to move out." I don't days. believe the WAC 100 knows what's going on, period, anyway. So that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I don't think he's known what's going on in quite some time. I think he's pretty pretty much out of it. Mm. Yeah, sounds yeah, about right. <laughs> he said he put his head to the street, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And matter of fact, I... um. Matter of fact, when I'm at my job, I get calls from California, and I be hearing their t- stories too. And they say, "Yeah, it's just it's getting, yeah, it's getting, would, it's getting kind of heavy. It's getting, it's getting, yeah, kind of heavy." Kind of heavy. Kind of heavy. Well, that's. I would say uh, if you live in LA, keep your ass out the streets. Be safe. And, uh, Be yeah, safe. man. Do what the partners do. Stay the fuck out the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, sit in the house and, you know, listen to the podcast, man. I, don't know. I bet your ass won't get jumped mm-hmm. to or get robbed listening to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, the people moving out of California, going to Texas and everything. Hey, Texas. hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Why when you said that did that my brain it go to people moving out, people moving in. Why? Because of the color of the skin. People moving out, people moving in. Why? Because of the color of the skin. Run, 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 but you shall can I rap on sisters, rap on. 
Jam Sister I can't stand you. <laughs> Why did my brain go to Sister Act? Yo? <laughs> Out of all things in that moment that could have popped into you know, my brain, that's where I went. Oh, whoopee, boy. That whoopee. Oh, man. I think that's a good place to leave off. Uh, I ain't got no black business. I ain't got none of that shit, man. All I'm going to say is this, man. You want to support us, go to buymeacoffee.com backslash the partners and support on there. You can donate or you can sign up for a membership. Or you can go to anchor.fm backslash the partners and you can listen to the podcast and become a monthly supporter. Or you can go to dollar sign Podna Tiz One. That's dollar sign P O D N A T I Z One. Donate on either one of them places. You know what I'm saying? If you want to look out. If not, man, just leave a like on the video if you're watching this or listening to this on YouTube. Or, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and share this, John, if you listening to it somewhere else, man. I don't know. I, I ain't finna the bag y'all for nothing, man. It's a season of giving. So, God bless y'all. Um, but I will say, if you want to get you some nice gifts, since it, since it is the season for giving, Faith, tell them how they can get some merch. Well, you can always stop by rtradeclothing.com and you can also use the promo code Pod Squad 83 to bring your price down a little bit more. Once again, it's R Trey Clothing. That's A R T R E Clothing. I will never spell clothing for you. <laughs> never. Dot com. Never. What I said once again, promo code Pod Squad 83. Pod Squad 83. Get you some fresh gear. Got stuff coming out every now and then these weeks. Uh, Holiday season, haven't been having so much time to get to it. You know, got the kids, got the job, got the dog, got the wife, got the family. Got stuff got to do. Season to give it. So I figured I could give you one or two new designs. So come check it out. Want to give a gift? Get one with a promo code. Bring it down cheaper. Also, we got that new feature on there, Afterpay. You can pay little by little once every week and still get your merchandise. Check us out, man. Yeah. So you can pay a little bit now, get your stuff for Christmas, and then guess what? From there, you can keep on paying as you got. So, you know. That's what I did. If you're a little bit strapped for cash right now, but you still want to rep your partners, go ahead and do that. And uh, Pat, if they want to get in touch with us, man, how can they do that? Oh, uh, at T-H-E-P-O-D-N-A-S. And that is the Twitter. That is the Instagram. That is the TikTok. That is also the Facebook. And we're also in the Facebook. It's Tiz, Face, Pat, all the partners and the partners and faces up there. Now nah, I'm up there. If y'all need to hit us up, y'all can hit us up up there at T H E P O D N A S. Right. Up there, upstairs, and it's up there and stuck there. Um, I don't really got nothing else to say this week, man. It's the Christmas holiday. Love your loved one. Don't get caught up in this commercialism and shit and get stuck on what you got to buy and all that shit. Like, it's for the kids. So, you know, look out for your children, obviously, because they don't know no better. But if you're a grown up man, don't be out here all depressed and sad because you ain't get some or all even worried about that. Do something for somebody else. Be a blessing to somebody else. Life. And, and remember the reason for the season. If you're a Christian, you know what I mean? Remember that Jesus died for you and he was born. You know what I mean? If you're not a Christian, just remember that Christmas is really about, you know, being with your family and just, you know, appreciating what you done got over the past year. So do that. Love up. Bless up. We'll see y'all over the coming weeks. Um, I'll be in Virginia I guess next week when we normally will be recording. So I'll figure out something for next week. It might be some reruns next week or some uh, best of type shit. But uh, yeah, man, stay on the lookout for that. I might do some vlog shit, you know what I'm saying? Get uh, get up with Face and Pat while I'm up there. So, you know, y'all can see us actually in person, all three of us in the same place at the same time. I don't think that's ever happened on the on the, on the channel. So uh, yeah, man. Um, like I said, though, man, y'all just be safe. I love y'all. You know, the bros, I'm going to be talking to y'all over the uh, over the next week anyway. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do no live show this week or nothing like that. So I ain't making no promises on nothing this week. 
If you see us, you see us. If not, man, we love y'all. Be safe. See y'all in the uh, new year for real, for real, Pod Squad. Maybe before then, maybe not. I don't know. One hundred. Take that into the new year with you.